hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial on magento so let's let's check out today we are what we are going to learn so today we are going to learn about the objects in the magento 2 so how the how in magento 2 objects are created what is object manager how they are going to be interacting with it so we are going to understand logic by logic about the objects in magento 2 so let's start it so when in the old php method to create an object what we have to do we always use the new parameter new keyword to construct an object to make an object right so let's see what we are going to do with that okay so let's copy this one and go to the terminal command this is the abstract command this is the one where we have to write it out so here I'm going to add this one okay. and this will print. This is basically a CMD command line. So whenever you uh, like you have already, I have already video framed on the execute method where we are going to add all the things, right? So here, this is, this is command base. So you uh, like, this is command. So we are going to check it over here, sudo. php bin magento list no cli list i want the cli list so what we have to do for it psp php bin magento This is the all the list you can see that that we have so these are the lists so what where we are uh, command line list is here so let's see it's like command available commands so list commands so magento Okay, these all are the Magento to CLI lists. So where is our CLI list? This is PS Tutorial Object Manager, a CLI playground for testing commands. So this is our, we have to write it, the code to get into it, right? So let's add this one. This is the same one PHP bin magento ps tutorial. So we are going to add this one here. So paste it and run it. So it is pasting at the hello magento. Okay. So uh, you can see that it is all it is uh, creating an object. If you go to the var generation folder, let me go to that one. This is my magento to HTML. So project var generated. Where is generate folder is on the top. Code. Rajnikant. This is object and here is the command. So you can see that interceptor file is created here. You can see that the object manager is created over here. At all the inceptor files are created over here. You can see that. So these all are stored into your this. You can see that generated folder, right? So moving to the next. But see, you can see that the same output is printing whatever we have written in the get hello message. So get hello message is written in the our model. So let's go to check the model what exactly we have printing. So you can see that. Okay, app code, machining con, this one and model, you can see that we have a function message hello magento and return this message with the get hello message. So we are using this one. So you, so now clear. So here we have creating the object of this one and get and with the help of this object, we are fetching what the message they have written. Okay, this is the first step. You can see that this is the default PHP 
for creating a new object in the magento on the in the php but not in the magento magento has its own way right so let's start let's see what exactly they are doing so let me go to that one so here we have this one they are defining with the get object manager or create object manager right so if i'm going to copy this one okay so let's add so this get object manager and let's see what it's gonna printing so it's create the object uh, it's object right and what next we have to add and we have to add the message output this one okay and let's see what is gonna printing okay output write an object get hello message okay so it will check this object is created or not so let's add it you can see that same thing is happened hello magento so which one is the best this one why because it's magento core functionality of creating an object so don't use the default php things into your magento modules right so this this we have to use let's move to the next part that we are going to learn that is so suppose i, I am just adding these two cases okay so i'm going to add this one into our uh, this one so i'm going to space this so both commands are you can say that both are initiating an object but here the message is changed right and here we are again insta inst instantiating the same object and message we have just printing hello message right so let's see what is the output so here you can see that there is a hello php and hello magento so first it will check and this is the message is this one after that this prints right so let's check out what exactly it is okay so instead of printing the default message see instead of the printing the default message second time the program printed the same custom message we set on the first object here you can see that first one is hello php and the second one is hello magento so first it will in uh, here we can go to this that one so here you can see that first we have instant uh, change the message but default message that we are getting from this one right so this is the difference in that and if if there is one more difference like uh, i have in my mind so let's make it the same one if i am going to instantiate the same thing uh, like here it is and uh, it is like uh, this one to this uh, i have making the same one okay so let's see what's going to be printed hello magento hello magento it is printing and uh, you can see that instead of printing the default message the second time our program printed the same custom message that set on the first object this is the magento objects manager automatic single tone feature like once you have object it return the same thing without inst right with a single tone future attempts to initiate the same object will return the original instance like with the single tone uh, next future attempts future attempts means i have inst instantiate the another object same right but it will return the original instance right this one it is returning one okay so this is the single tone feature in the magento that once you instantiate it it will return the same object at is at is set into the previous one okay so this is uh, about the object manager for creating your objects so you can create an objects and assess the objects like this okay so anything that you have or not clear on that just let me know in the comment section okay so i hope uh, i uh, i am giving my best to explain the object manager what exactly it is for creating the objects and how how to do uh, and the second was the single tone what exactly it is what is the feature of that in magento 2 
so yeah that's it for now for le let's meet in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment any issue in there just let write me below in the query uh, comment section have a great day